Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody has a great day. It is Thirsty Thursday, and um, it is, of course, getting closer and closer to the weekend. Um, I have to say, actually, this is... um, A little bit hard of a, a day. Um, I've been doing some work around the house. I've been away working on the red brick house for so long and stuff, uh, trying to get some things done. My workshop has just got stuff piled up all over the place, and I brought back some more wood from the red brick house that um, I'm going to mill up and do some things with, but I need to clean up in there. Um, one of the things that was in there was... Um, one of Rashid's knee scooters and it's been here since he went to the hospital there was actually two of them that were here because he had gotten an upgraded one and today was the day we finally decided to do something with those and we donated them uh, to a medical facility so hopefully they'll be able to help somebody else and so it's still hard to believe that Rashid is no longer with us um, any longer. Anyway, um, I'm fortunate that I have so many of you guys. I always say without you, it does not work because I have so many people that help me out, make sure I don't miss anything and stuff. And um, we're kind of in that dead zone right now. And, of course, the conversation is whether or not the Cowboys should pay Dak Prescott or CeeDee Lamb or Micah Parsons and things like that. And I have to say that um, CeeDee Lamb is staking a bigger claim to being one of the top paid, if not the top paid, uh, wide receivers. Thanks to Miss Jackie, she sent me this um, right here from Pro Football Focus. You you know the boys. Skip, skip, skip. Skip the boys from Pro Football Focus. They watch a lot of football. And they know what they're talking about, Skip. And so what they are actually talking about in this piece here, the highest graded wide receivers against man coverage. Okay, so that means it's just you and me. We're lining up. Okay, you know, back in the days, we had, you know, uh, Deion Sanders who'd lock you down and you know you weren't getting anything with Dion out there and then of course there was Revis Island well those guys don't um don't of course exist in the NFL right now and wide receivers are out there doing their do now here are the highest grade this is the cream of the crop out there this is who performed the best the best of the best in man-to-man coverage. So you see, Nico is on the cover of it, right? But let's go to the list. CD, CD Lamb, 94.1. Okay. That's 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 pretty high. That's that's pretty high. That's really high. Can't imagine what everybody else must be because you know some people say get rid of that guy because he stinks. Nico Collins, Nico, who was on the cover of it, is ninety two point one. Wait, that went downhill. Wait, let, let me go back. Let me make sure I got it because I, I do need to get my glasses prescription checked. CD Lamb 94.1. Nico Collins 92.1. Okay. Okay. So, well, we know Tariq Hill got to be on this list. DJ Moore. DJ 91. Point, wait a minute, but that's 91.2. Is that less than 94.1? Wait a minute, let me go back again. I got to double check because, you know, he's a garbage receiver catching passes from a garbage quarterback. 94.1. Okay. Nico Collins, 92.1. So that's two points less. DJ Moore is 
one point nine less. Okay, okay, DJ Moore. Okay, so it just dipped, and now it's got to be coming back up. AJ Brown. Wait, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. So wait, wait, wait. Neat, no, no, AJ Brown. AJ, wait, wait, hold up. Eagle fans. Ninety point four. So that's what three point seven. Three point seven. 3.7 less than CD? Hold up. And Brandon Ayuk, 90.4. What the hell is going Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Hold up. Tell me that this can't be true. That we're talking about man coverage, one-on-one, the best of the best last year in the NFL. And you going to tell me that Justin Jefferson, who just got $35 million a year, is only 90.2 and CeeDee Lamb is 3.3.9 higher than Justin Jefferson? Hold it. I, wait, wait. This can't be right. Hold on. Let let me let me let me go to an expert here and, and see get their take on it. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. What an idiot! Dallas has Amari Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid? What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You. So it's a good thing Philly 500 didn't get Justin Jefferson. Because he's ass. He, 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 he's down on the bottom of the list. So is Philly 500 right? But all jokes aside, as in Philly 500 to the side, who's still chicken to go to Cowboys training camp. Oh, excuse me, to Cowboys Eagles game. Um, yeah, all jokes aside, you have to admit, CD Lamb is pretty damn good. Anybody that holds the Dallas Cowboys single season record, and mind you, he did not do that by himself because he had to have a quarterback who got him there, who got the ball to him to be able to catch that. The two of them are one hell of a combination. All right, good people. I appreciate y'all. And um, I got some interesting news since we brought up the Eagles. There, the, when, when I saw this, I couldn't believe this. Well, I, you know, I, I kind of got a little bit of an idea from this from um, Leo, because Leo was talking about all the cap space that they got down the road and things, you know, $100 million and things, but wait till you see what I have with that. All right, good people. Hope you all having a great day. I will see you real soon. Peace out.